Well, it seems to me that you talked Meg into giving Montgomery Enterprises back to Lucinda for all the wrong reasons, since Craig is obviously innocent. Craig is a lot of things, none of them innocent. Okay, well, that may be the case, but you have to admit it was a stretch, really, to implicate Craig for Dusty's murder just because he financed Evan I Walsh's still research think project. Craig got a hand in it somehow. Well, if you ask me, he's going to use your accusations to prove to Meg how far you're willing to go to win her back. Meg is smart. She's too smart to go back to a guy who caused her so much pain. She could say the same thing about you, Paul. I mean, her marriage to Craig was was hell, right? But her love affair with you was an enjoy ride. I love Meg in a way that you'll never comprehend. I'm not letting her go, not now, not ever. Meg will come back to me. So you're listening to Paul now. This has ulterior motive written all over it, and you're going to believe him? I believe I am making the right decision. It's right for me, and it's right for Lucinda. Don't you see what Paul is doing? He's trying to make me look guilty to get closer to and you. What do I have to do to make this clear to you? I do not want to be with Paul, and I certainly do not want to be with you. What I do want is to get my life back. And I can't do that if I am trapped in this unending war between the two of you. Paul has no right to tell you what to do with Montgomery Enterprises. I've made my decision. As of tomorrow, the company will be Lucinda's. And it will be worldwide again. And Montgomery Enterprises in this whole year will be one bad memory. Meg, Meg, please don't do this. You are making a terrible mistake. Please. Reconsider before it's too late. Evan, it's Chris Hughes. I want to talk to you. Not unless you call off the cops. The cops won't be a problem, okay? Just let me in. How do I know I can trust you? Hey, we're partners, remember? I want to help you. Hey, it's about time. Chris is my friend. That's right. And as your friend, I'm telling you not to do this. I thought you wanted to help. I do, but not like this, okay? Hey, just just let, let Lily and Lucinda go. I'll do everything I can to see that the authorities go easy on you, especially if you don't hurt the ladies, okay? You, of all people, should understand. This research project was your dream, too. It was. I'm sorry to see it go, but this will never work. No, it has to work. If I can't do my research project here, I'll take it somewhere else. I mean, $10 million is more than enough to set up a private lab somewhere where, where no one will find me. I mean, I thought you cared about saving lives. How can you talk about saving lives when all you've done is take them? You're a doctor. You've seen my research. I was on the brink of amazing breakthroughs. The drugs that I was developing could work miracles. It's a miracle. You didn't kill my father. Bob got in the way of my work. You want me to accept that you poisoned my father because he didn't want to fund your research? Does, does that make any sense to you? It's clear we don't share the same vision anymore. Give it up, Evan. Give me the syringe. Let them go. Take one more step and she's dead. I can't do this anymore, Margaret. I can't wait around hoping that Chris is going to talk him down. There's got to be another way to get in there. No, no, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm not going anywhere. Maybe you didn't hear me. One step closer and this syringe ends up in her neck. Chris. He means business. Oh, you're right for once, Lucinda. You can't get away with this. It's over. No, it's not. Not by a long shot. I'm warning you, Evan. Give it up. I'm not taking orders from you. Now get the hell out of here! I 
fixated on his research really thinks he can get it's away right, with it. It's all right. It's all right. Thank you so much for trying, Chris. I know it was difficult considering what he did to your dad. Yeah, I just hope he gets what he deserves. Don, hi. It's Holden Snyder. Listen, I need a huge favor. I need you to send over the W.O.A.K. chopper. I need you to send it to the roof, the hospital roof, immediately. It's an emergency. Holden, what the hell do you think you're doing? Listen, Margo, I, I, I can't. I can't do this any longer. W.O.A.K. is sending over a chopper now. It's on its way. We're not going to let him get away, Holden. Would you rather Lily and Lucinda get killed? Well, maybe it would be better to bring Evan out into the open, but it won't be without hostages. You know that. Yeah, well, I will make sure that that doesn't happen. Quit stalling, Lucinda, and get me that jet, oh. or Lily's dead! Hey! Wait a minute. Look. Um. Hey, Wesley, it's me. Um, how, how soon can you have the jet ready on the, ta uh, on the tarmac? Well, right, right, fueled, ready to go. Um, Evan Walsh. Destination, I don't really know that. Um, but he's standing right next to me. I'll ask him. Hang, hang on. I'll let him fill it in himself. That was a very stupid thing to do, Lily. Okay. Well, then, what's your fantasy first time? You know, would it be lit by candlelight with rose petals strung about the duvet? I don't even know how to spell duvet, and as far as the rose petals go, you can cut that out of my movie. Okay, okay. So I guess the bearskin rug B and B is out of the picture. Well, what about um? Oh, what about like, like all sweaty and hot in a locker room after like a really rough game of handball? Have you been watching porn at my grandma's house? No. Well, you certainly have an active imagination. Well, that's because I'm a writer. I have to. It's my job. Okay. Well, if you were to direct, like, a, a, a Luke and Noah feature, you know, nothing hardcore, just romantic, what would it be? I, I, it would be nothing like From Here to Eternity. You know, us in the surf with the waves crashing over us. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Too much sand. No, yeah, exactly. And, I don't know, I can think of millions of romantic Hollywood classics, but I just don't see you and me in any of them. Oh. That's because of quote-unquote lifestyles way against the old production code. Well, I want us to be different. You know, I want us to be unique. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, why do we have to be a stereotype? Why can't we just be ourselves? Yeah, exactly. I mean, and do everything our own way. Yeah. But what exactly is our own way? Well, that is the question. I mean, when we get together, what will it be like? I mean kind of relationship to 